welcome to the 9th of June. So I'm getting myself ready to do my video and it's going to be an empties video which I have been gathering right here. Oh gosh, look at that. Ah! Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. I don't even think it's been that long. I'm the one that thinks I don't actually use too many products. Look at this. Oh dear. Just the normal things that I use. See? This is my jumpsuit that I took. That's the back of it. I think I've showed you before but anyway this is my jumpsuit that I was planning to wear to my friend's daughter's Hindu you see that's kind of mesh here oh god it's got that kind of mesh here anyway I got this from Nita Porter a few a few years now anyway but I didn't like the waist on it and I took it and got it fixed looks like a white line on it what's that on it must have chalked it or something anyway and I had this ribbon put on it just here, which looks okay. The only problem now is it's made the jumpsuit really tight around this area. And I can't get it past my backside. Well, I can. I can get it back. But see, trying to get it off? Oh, my goodness. So, see if I need the toilet. It's just not going to happen. I don't know if it's... Oh. So, the only zip it has on it is this zip here which runs from here to here and it looks as if it's burst when i've tried to get it on as well yeah that's great so that's gonna have to go back to get fixed i've only just noticed that by the way that must have happened yesterday when i was trying it on because it was so tight oh oh anyway excuse to buy something new for the hindu and the other thing is if you follow me on instagram do you remember the little charm thing saber that i got from tokyo that my son brought back from tokyo and he really didn't want to give me but i wanted it and he just gave it to me anyway and i loved it on my um palm springs mini well I had it on yesterday for the first time and it fell off and i even put it on this key ring to secure it and i managed to lose it i'm so annoyed hate losing things but I really hate losing something that somebody has given me really really oh it's really quite upset even phoned up the shops I actually went back to all the places that I had been in and um, checked to see if I had left it but probably fell off somebody's picked it up film is done I've had my dinner I'm editing Gin is done, but uh, I need something sweet. Needing a little chocolate now. Let's do a lucky bit. Oh, rum! That was the one that was rum and something, wasn't it? Mm. What were we going to do? Planning? Sorry. <laughs> it's rum and what was it? Rum and something. Normally rum goes with raisin, rum and raisin, for some reason, no, no. It's white chocolate. Mm. Oh, it's quite alcohol-like. Mmm. Want to taste it? No, I'm still eating my dinner. Mmm. Mmm. Quite like that one. And there's a surprise. Mmm. <laughs> Very nice. Ta -da. Mm. <laughs> you have to tell us what flavour you're going to have. <laughs> Have a look at all the different ones. That's cheesecake. I don't, I'm not doing it. I think I to do the one. Do you have it? Mm-hmm. Should I eat one smoothie? I jumped in the sky to kick on all of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
before. Is it like cheesecake? It's amazing. I don't like cheesecake. Do you not? Do you like that? What does that taste like, George? Eat that. Tastes like chocolate soup had before. No, I like that. Previously on Sakai it's a chocolate meat. Well, that's going to go viral, man. That's going to go viral. It's going to be around feet, red and white. Oh, I know the ones you're talking about. Hey! Hello, and welcome back to my channel. 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 Hello, and and so I'm trying not to give her unhealthy treats which she loves like white chocolate because her daddy doesn't like her to have chocolate and things like that. So I looked up how to make um, uh -huh, some healthy treats for her and I found another YouTuber, um, I, was, I think it's another Scottish YouTuber, the name is Mama Reed. Her name is Mama Reed and she was showing I uh have -huh, these treats and Georgie absolutely loves peanut butter. So it's basically two bananas, six tablespoons of a peanut butter and a cup of oats. So we're going to attempt to make that together. Fun! Need to put it in. Don't ah! And my clean windows you've just touched! Right. What you did I'm going to have to clean that window. Look. Let's George's handprint right there. Oh. Yeah. Clean George's. Right. So. Is it nice? Don't touch it again. I'm just cleaning them this morning. Like an upper. Right, so we need two bananas. Let's go and get two bananas, Georgie. Banana. And your best, <laughs> this is going to be interesting, your best using ripe bananas because of the flavour. It adds some sweetness because I don't use sweetened peanut butter. I just use um, the whole peanut butter. It's just peanuts. What's that, banana? Banana. Nana, banana. We're going to use that in the cookies that we're going to make. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 uh. No, we're going to use it in the... Oh. Yeah. Nana. Nana. Mm -hmm. You're going to mix the banana up. And I just use the whole earth smooth peanut butter. And there's no added anything in it. It's gluten-free and all that. So that's what I use. So six tablespoons of peanut butter. Of peanut butter and some porridge oats. Yep, we just need a cup full of porridge oats. Here we go. I'm just going to measure out a cup full of oats. Yeah, we're going to preheat the oven. There we go. Two hundred Celsius. Here we go. Mhm. Mm you don't touch that now, Gay. Bacon sheet. One bacon sheet. And some greaseproof paper. Non-stick baking parchment. I just call it greaseproof paper. Is what we used to call it. Uh oh! Just gonna line the baking sheet. Uh -oh. That's it. One mixing bowl. Banana. I'll just put the banana in there. Yeah, Ah, George is going to try and eat the banana now. Right, let's mash it up. There. Oh no! Look! So just mashing up the banana. Whoa! Do you want a shot? Here, George, you mash up the banana. 
be good. Oh, there you go. You do it. And of course, George wants to eat the banana. And six tablespoons of peanut butter. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Mmm. And we just mix it all up. Of course, all Georgia wants to do is eat it. Just mix it up. Yummy, yummy. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Do you want that? Mm. Do you want the shot? Want to mix it? Mm. Oh. Is that good fun? And these are good. I enjoy these as well, if I had to be honest. Nice, healthy treats instead of a bar of chocolate. There you go, look. Her two favourite things, banana and peanut butter. Just <laughs> stop it! Look! Is that nice? <laughs> Is that yummy? Oh, yummy, yeah, yeah. Yummy peanut butter and banana. We're going to have to bake it. Add the porridge oats and that's it. Mm -hmm. Can't taste it now because the oats are in there. Spoon with peanut butter on it. Yeah. There. You eat it, Ammo. Ammo. Mmm. She absolutely loves peanut butter. I just want to make sure everything is mashed in. You could do this in a food processor or a mix up a hayhole. Dodgy's enjoying this in its raw state. So that's basically it all mixed up like that. I better get it into the tray before Georgie eats it all up. <laughs> it's a big spoon. Mm -hmm. Right. So basically, I'm just gonna plonk it all in the middle of the tray like so, and then just spread it out. Peanut butter and banana. Cheat. Like so. Once they're cooked. They're actually soft, so they're kind of a cake type biscuit. Ooh, what are you doing? Right, you go get it. There. Got it. You enjoying that, Georgie? Okay. So that's what it looks like. I'm now going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes or there or thereabouts. I'll keep checking it. You can add apple, raisins, sultanas, anything you like. I'm just baking it plain. 
Well, that's it in the oven. George is still baking and licking the bowl here and enjoying every minute of it. Lily's tried to take the bowl away from Georgie and Georgie's having none of it. I think I need to take that away and give it a good wash. Oh no. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna need a right good bath. Right, that's coming away now. There we go, that's it. Straight out the oven. So I'm gonna let it cool and then just slice it up. Peanut butter and banana cake bars and it's gonna turn into I'm just Judge enjoying it, aren't you Judge? It's yummy. Mmm. And the dogs are here waiting for the crumbs. Nice. No, that's Georgie's. She does like to share her food with the dogs, don't you, Georgie? <laughs> Georgie, where are you? Where are you, Georgie? I can't see you. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you hiding from me? Splashing, but you're doing splash splash, making a mess in Yaya's kitchen. Mhm. Mm oh no! Like you're not, look, you're dripping water everywhere now. Hello and welcome to the 14th of June. It is Thursday. I'm just ready to go out quickly. Last week I picked up an Estee Lauder night repair. Well I thought it was Estee Lauder night repair but it ended up being some sort of oil mask and the packaging is the same. I'll show you. Um, yeah so I'm going to go and return that because I don't like it. I have phoned Estee Lauder and they're happy to exchange it. So that's what I'm going to do. The other thing I was going to show you is this hoover here. I showed this on my Instagram and um, I was quite surprised at, and I was quite surprised at how popular it was and I was also asked to review it. I will do a proper review but yeah I love it. It's one of these handheld hoovers and it's good both for hard floors, tiles and carpets and I've got a really thick carpet in my sitting room, dining room and this works perfectly on it. It's just ideal for your quick clean up. So yeah I ordered this from Amazon. I'll link it below if anybody's interested. Quick outfit, nothing very interesting, just an old t-shirt from Nex. Old Gucci belt, old Zara trousers, reasonably new shoes. These I picked up from TK Maxx, the Carvela, just a pair of flats. Bag, I made a point of not using my um, Palm Springs Mini. I know I've been using that an awful lot and I really wanted to use that. But I thought, I think for the past three vlogs maybe I've been using that. So I thought specifically not using that although I wanted to use it. I was going to use my Pochette Metis but then I thought nah it's raining. So I'm just going to use this bag here which is the bag I've been using at the gym. This is a mulberry bag, a mulberry bag that I completely forgot I had but was asked in my comments if I had a mulberry bag and I, I said no. I've said all this before but anyway. So this is my mulberry bag and I've just taken off its original strap which was in this colour here and it's more of a shoulder strap so I took that off and just put this guitar 
strap on and I picked this up from next last year I don't even know if they have any if I find any um, I'll link them below as well for you so this is my Marlboro bag and this is how I've been using it at the gym so just my cosmetic pouch these are my gloves that I use today and my sweatband which need to go into the wash and my sunglasses and again my contact lens solution so I'll just keep all that in there and in the back I have my Chanel coin purse with my all everything that I need in it and just my Gucci key pouch that's my alarm and things like that in there so yeah I'm just gonna take just my usual stuff my agenda my phone, I'll just throw them in there as they're there. My lipstick and eyeliner with its Estee Lauder lip liner. I'll tell you what they are. When, once I'm in the car, I've got more time. And my, um, I don't know if I'm going to take my cosmetic pouch. I don't think I am going to take my cosmetic pouch. I don't need it. So this is what I picked up thinking it was the night repair. But it says advanced night repair recovery mask in oil and I really I'm not a fan of it this is what it looks like and I have used it and I did tell the sales advisor that I had used it but they're happy to exchange it for me so it just all oh, the packaging looks the exact same but it's oil based and I want something that kind of concentrates on wrinkles and things and I did feel this a bit greasy so no I want my usual night repair so I'm going to go and exchange that for that so yeah, so we'll catch you in the car and I'll show you in the car this. I was also asked what I used to hold my camera up in the car and I'll show you that when I'm in the car. That's the bag all packed up. It's a very slouchy bag. This bag can also be used as a clutch. So you just take off the straps and tuck in the D-rings and it just becomes a clutch. <laughs> so that's what the bag looks like. Here we go. We've got the different settings there as well. There you go. Ready to go. This is how we do this. And it's not that warm. <sighs> Whoa! Shut that bin lid before it. So this is what I put my camera on and can adjust it on either side and I just keep it there ready for whenever I need to use it and I've got it adjusted so I know just by putting the camera on it focuses on me and um, for the phone, phone holder we have as well I'll link both of them below I don't know offhand what they're called but that's what they um, look like Lipstick I have on today is Estee Lauder a MAC pencil the Estee Lauder is pure colour envy in sheer sin 220 and my lip liner is a MAC lip liner and it's in the colour in anticipation so that's what I have on my lips today that's that's home me nibbling as soon as I come in I have to have my nibbles. Look my granddaughter's um, treats but I told you they're good as healthy treats. Mm. I'm just having a quick coffee. I've got two classes booked my Pilates and balance. I'm really not feeling up to them. Um, I've actually not been feeling well all week can probably see from the bags under my eyes but I've really been not good this week so every gym session has been a struggle but once I'm there I'm okay but it's just this sort of headache that's just ongoing so I don't know what's wrong with me but um, yeah I'll show you what I got okay I'm sorry, I shouldn't really be eating. But I'm hungry. <laughs> so. You should try making those, by the way. They're lovely. Those banana and peanut butter. Lenny! Cake bars are really good, especially with a cup of coffee. Lovely. 
Right. So, I do know one thing now. I don't like a slouchy bag. When I'm out shopping, it's too unorganised for me. I like to find things, see things straight away. And in here, they all get all kind of messed up. So this probably tells me I wouldn't be good with a speedy. So I picked up, whilst I was there, I thought... I would just pick up a moisturiser. I'm not needing it yet. Um, I've probably got a few more weeks left in the one that I'm using, but I thought I'm there. And um, it saves me going back. So I just picked up a resilience lift. And I picked up a mascara. Reminds me when I was a teenager and I used to wear blue mascara all the time I'll just put you down here and we'll open it up so it's the usual mascara that I use it's the Dior Show Pump and Volume and um, looks like that And that's it there. Yummy. Yummy. So I would still put my black underneath and then just probably put that on the tip. Love it. Love it. So I tried it on in the shop. The um, Dior sales advisor, who's always wonderful, um, she tried it on for me and I said, I'll just take it. So I just took it. And I've got my resilience left. And she gave me a sample of Miss Dior, the new one. Um, so, yeah, lovely. So that's that's all I picked up today. My husband did a wee bit of shopping. Got himself a couple of t-shirts, Ted Baker and whatever that one is. There you go, I'm sure you're not interested. Some socks. Andy got himself a suit, which is really a lovely suit three piece and that lining there it's lovely lining it's on the back of the waistcoat as well that's what the put it here that's what the lining looks like that's happy shopping that's for my friend's daughter's wedding which will be in august that's what he's wearing so yeah now i have to decide whether i'm going to go to the gym or not because i don't know But I'm going to go and check on my mum. Mama's still not feeling good. So, bath her. It's bath day today. I bathed her and we just put her back in her pyjamas. So, she's still not looking good. Joys of dementia. She's napping most of the day just now. So, um, yeah. Bit all over the place. This is what I went for originally. Look. That my advanced night repair. So I picked up the advanced night repair instead of the oils. So this is what I got today. Here we go. So now I'm going to get ready because I think I'm going to go to the gym. Just do my two classes, two 45 minute classes of balance and pilates. And that's it. By the time I come home, uh, hubby should have dinner ready. Fancy steaks tonight. And I haven't had a glass of wine all week because I haven't been feeling good. Still not feeling good, but I just might have one tonight. Watch Love Island. I'm sorry for all those of you that don't know what Love Island is, but <laughs> to most, it's a pathetic young person's program. I'm loving it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!